Hey Taurus, welcome to your love reading for mid-June 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and your Venus signs. This is going to be general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, but that's okay. You can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading. Also keep in mind that for general readings, the roles can be reversed. Alright, Taurus. Let's see what is going on with you for mid-June. What are the overall energies or energy? Okay, we have deception. So this could be a number of things. Um, it could be you um, deceiving yourself um, in a situation, staying somewhere where you don't want to stay, being somewhere where you don't want to be. It could be your person being deceptive in that way. Or it could be somebody just not really... Um, being very open or honest with you. Let's let's see. So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you like this doll that I have sitting on the desk, um, one of my friends, she makes really beautiful dolls <laughs> as well as other things and I will be including her Etsy shop link in the description box if you want to check out some of her handmade goodies. Okay, so Taurus, for you we have the Five of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Ten of Cups. What is going on here, Taurus? Well, there's definitely a high level commitment here that you are, I feel like you're grieving this connection. Um, you're feeling pessimistic, there's a sense of loss and sorrow, but there's also a connection here that you're feeling a lot of love for. It could be the same connection, it could be a different one. We'll see when we clarify, hopefully. Let's see for your person, we have the Nine of Cups, the Star, and... The Six of Cups. Okay, so this is a person who, first of all, misses you a lot. I feel like there's a lot of nostalgia um, for the way things used to be. Possibly wanting a reconciliation, really hoping for a reconciliation a lot. <laughs> okay, Nine of Cups, that's a wish fulfillment. The Star, that's also having a wish. It's also healing, but I'm seeing this as wishing for a reconciliation here. Let's see, for the near future, for you, we have the Ace of Pentacles, for them, the Queen of Pentacles, and for the both of you mutually, we have the World, and a message for you is the Six of Wands. Okay, so you're trying to start a new path here for yourself. There's um, something that you're trying to create, and I see you opening up. The path is opening up to you in a new direction. Um, I see them taking care of themselves, them being very, very nurturing, possibly even wanting to be nurturing towards you. And then mutually there is an ending of a cycle here. So it doesn't necessarily mean the ending of this connection, it's just the ending of a chapter, the ending of a particular cycle coming up. Okay, and then moving on to the next one. And I feel like this is going to be something very, very positive because we do have the Six of Wands as the message which does talk about success and victory, although in some cases it could be a little bit of ego. So we'll see. So it might be a message for you to kind of just, you know, um, be aware, a little more aware of your, of your ego. All right, so let's see, Five of Cups for Taurus. The 
five of pentacles. Okay, yeah, so right now you're really feeling a lot of loss. You're feeling alone. You're feeling like maybe you're even feeling abandoned. You're feeling um, a rejection possibly in some way. So yeah, it could be that you're the one feeling deceived maybe. Let's see the high point. Because I don't see deception on this person then. So maybe you're feeling that way from something else in your life or another connection. Feels a little complicated, to be honest. All right, so clarifying the Hierophant, we have the Four of Swords and the Three of Wands. Okay, so there's a situation here that I feel you're trying to heal. You're, you're trying to recover from it, um, from whatever it is that has caused you all of this grief. But it almost feels like, and you might even still be involved in this, right? You might still be involved with this, um, with the heart from being here. Um, but I feel like there's also a, a little sense of procrastination. Like you're kind of just waiting to see how it's going to evolve maybe on its own. And I feel like you're, you're just being a little bit passive when it comes to this, even though you're not feeling very, um, you're not feeling very good in this connection, but it's like you're just kind of waiting it out almost, or maybe you were waiting it out. Let me see the Ten of Cups. Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Okay, so you want happiness. You definitely want love. You want happiness. There might be, maybe it's with this person. Um, I don't see it really being there at the moment at least. And it almost feels like you're kind of allowing your thoughts to keep you in a situation waiting for that happiness that just isn't coming. Because again, with the Two of Swords, it, it, it's again a little bit of a passive energy, not really taking action, not knowing what to do, not being able to see the solutions. Um, and I feel like the solutions are there. This Ten of Cups is definitely something that is possible for you, but you're keeping yourself in a situation that's not giving you that Ten of Cups. It doesn't mean it never will. Now, I don't know if it's the same person here because I'm seeing this person being like really wanting a reconciliation. So that also kind of gives me an indication that it might be a different person for some of you. Maybe not all of you. Maybe you're not with this person at the moment and this is them wanting that reconciliation um, and healing, you know, <clears throat> whatever the issue was. But... I feel like for most of you, it's coming through as someone else from your past. So let's see, let me see the Nine of Cups. All right, we have the Four of Cups and the Emperor. Okay, yeah, so this is somebody that I feel like you may have at some point ignored, at some point also kind of been a little bit passive towards. Whoever this is, I, I see this person as just really wanting this, just really wanting this, wanting to be your Emperor, really wanting to stand in that role and be there for you and to pretty much... This is going to sound cheesy, but this is how it's coming through. Make your wishes come true. But maybe maybe this person isn't for you either. I don't know. Because if, you, if you're if you not feeling um, drawn to them, and if this person doesn't make you happy either, I don't know. But I do see that this person, this person definitely wants a connection with you. And I do see that you have this Ten of Cups here as well. So I do feel like you're just kind of keeping yourself trapped maybe keeping yourself from that Ten of Cups, if it's this person. Let's see the star. And again, roles can be reversed, okay? Don't forget that. 
because we also have a lot of cross watchers, I think. So, okay, so for the star, we have the Queen of Wands. This is somebody who really knows what they want. This is somebody who is very um, assertive for the most part. And definitely wants you like, like crazy, like no other. Let me see the Six of Cups. The Moon. So this person, yeah, they miss you. They want a reconciliation with you. Um, but there's a lot of doubt. There's a lot of hesitation. I feel like this person is kind of in the dark, not really knowing what is going on um, with you. I, I, I actually don't feel like this person is deceiving you. I feel like there's either another connection in your life that may have been deceptive or that you might be deceiving yourself a little bit by staying in a connection that's not making you happy. Let's see what is coming up because I do see you opening up the path um, for something new here. So let me see this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, the High Priestess. Can we get one more? And the Ace of Swords. Okay, good. So this is you really listening to your intuition, tapping into your higher self, and really coming into that alignment. And then following through. Like really wanting to take some action here. I see you doing that. I see you taking action based on your intuition. When you do that, that's when the path will open up for you. A new beginning. All right. That will lead to a conclusion of that sorrow, of that depression. <laughs> because it does feel like you are depressed at the moment. Let me see the Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, see, it's this is what I'm saying. There's somebody here, okay? This other person here is wanting a commitment. This is somebody who wants to take care of you, who wants to be there for you, who wants to be stable. Um, and again, it feels like it's somebody from your past. But like I said, you know, follow your intuition always. Don't don't just get back with anybody from your past just based off of um, the energy here, right? Listen to your intuition. It has to make you happy as well. All right, let's see the world. The King of Cups. Okay, so whatever this ending is, this ending of a cycle, and I feel like this has been a major theme here also for fire signs. So, and I was actually gonna say that before, that I, some of you might be dealing with a fire sign. Um, I also see Pisces on the table. I feel like those are the ones that are sticking out to me the most. I mean, obviously we have the Hierophant here, which is your element. Um, but yeah, I feel like this, whatever this ending is, whatever this conclusion is, that is on your end it's going to bring about some emotional stability for you. It's going to bring love into your life. But there has to be a closing out of this cycle that you are currently in, whatever that is. Six of Wands, you know, that's all about confidence um, as well. So I don't know if they're, I mean, for some of you, it could be a little bit too, um, you know, just keeping your ego in check. But for the most part, I'm seeing this now as being a confidence. That is the message for you. Be confident for what it is that you deserve. You deserve success. You deserve happiness. You deserve victory. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to have love. There's that Queen of Cups, right? Coming out right after we had the King of Cups. There's love here that is possible for you. But it's just that it comes with the victorious <laughs> closing out of a cycle right? Successfully closing out a cycle brings, brings love. Queen and King of Cups. So, Taurus. So where is the deception? If this reading resonated with you, let me know where the deception is, what you think this deception 
is is it from somebody that you are involved with other than this person here is it from within yourself is it life how do you view it and let's get your final oracle message Okay, this is interesting. We got two. I'm mostly feeling called for this one, so I'll save it for last. So the first one is the new moon in Virgo, and it says a time to give rather than take. So whatever that means to you. And then we have the new moon in Aquarius, bring love into the situation. So yes, focus on love. Does this situation bring you love? Bring love into your situation. Don't stick around for a situation that does not bring you love. All right, Taurus, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.